Good morning. I feel like I learned a bit of a lesson this morning in almost a real old-fashioned way, in the way of fables, in the way of parables, and whether it fits with the overall theme of today, I'm going to share it with you the way I figured it out. It's out in my garden. I spent a lot of time in my garden. I'll give you a real quick look. I know turning the camera is not a good thing, but it's a big garden. It has places for junk that may not surprise you, flowers, pollinators, hummingbirds, other winged birds. My vision when I started it two years ago was to turn it into a naturalized meadow for where all pollinators and flying creatures, bees, butterflies, birds would all be welcome and safe. And I have made a lot of mistakes. Um, I wasn't an expert and I didn't have time to become an expert. I had to start. I didn't have to, but I wanted to start right away. So I started right away and I made mistakes. And, but I had help. I had people from our congregation give me flowers that are coming up wonderfully now, um, give me advice tell me which plants were helpful and which were hurtful. But I can't take it all in all at the same time, so I made a lot of mistakes. One of the mistakes I made was very recent. I'm gonna show you. I put up a hummingbird feeder near my window, and I didn't want it to be too scary for the hummingbirds, so I put these flowers up on my deck. So they would know this is a place where there are lots of flowers, lots of nectar, come on up. And I put them on that rail right next to the feeder. And you know what I did? I screwed them down to make them nice and safe so they wouldn't fall off. I screwed them to that piece of lumber. I thought I was being careful. I thought I was being smart. Within a week, my neighbor pointed out that my deck was crumbling and rotten and about to collapse. I had to take the whole thing down. Why are the flowers over there on the ground? Because they, had, they couldn't get it out because of all the screws I put in. They couldn't take the flowers down. They had to use a sawzall, a big giant scary loud tool and like slice the whole railing off and put it over there to not kill the flowers that I had so carefully put up to make the flowers a good place for the hummingbirds, for the bees, for the... <laughs> uh, you can't know everything at the same time and you can't know what's coming next. I can't. So you do your best and then when you know more, when someone who knows more about it, when someone who knows about decks or invasive species or which kind of sugar is better or worse to put in your hummingbird feeder, then you do better. You adapt, you change. Um, I think right now we're finding out a lot of things at the same time out in the world and in my garden that we thought we were doing a good job, but it wasn't the best job. We could do better. And that doesn't mean we should be ashamed or defend ourselves or refuse to listen because everything we're hearing makes us uncomfortable. It's hard. It's hard to learn things all at once um, and just stay relaxed and taking a little bit of a laughing attitude at ourselves. I find it easier in my garden to laugh at my mistakes and go, oh, okay, well, I'll do better next time but I need to do that everywhere. All my mistakes is just a human being human um, and be not so easy on myself that I don't change. Nope, nope, I do have to change when I know better, but not so hard on myself that I'm mean to myself 
or mean to the people who are trying to teach me. That's the most important thing. I don't want to be mean to the people who are trying to teach me. I want to be grateful. So, <laughs> you can hear my dogs are barking. I'm ready to get back to my garden. I hope you have a good week.